Well, high School Football Stadium in Northeast Kentucky could receive a facelift in the near future. 13 News reporter Lane Ball has been following this story, and he joins us now from the Huntington studio with the latest. Lane, this is some exciting news. That's right, Rob Merrily, and we're talking about a $1.6 million project that's in the works now. Members of the Putnam Stadium Restoration Committee out of Ashland, Kentucky, say this is expected to make some much-needed improvements. And they're asking the community for some help. In 2014, Putnam Stadium, home of the Ashland Tomcats, went through some major changes in a short period of time. First phase was to tear the stadium down, the press box, everything, rebuild the stadium. We wanted to do it from the end of one season to start the next season so we wouldn't miss a single home game, which we accomplished. However, this didn't happen overnight. Putnam Stadium Restoration Committee Chairman Greg Jackson says they came up with the idea in 2009 and divided it into two phases. Almost eight years later, they're finally ready to start phase two. This includes replacing the lighting and turf. The field is currently made up of normal turf, which Jackson says has been difficult to maintain. We've got groundskeepers that take care of it. Uh, but sooner or later, you kind of run out of those people or, you know, the ones that are always have the expertise to do it, you know, they may decide it's time to move on. The plan is to add artificial turf, which would cut down on maintenance and create a multidimensional experience. This means it can be used for other activities, including other field-related sports, marching band competitions, and community events such as concerts. The project also includes a new sound system, a canopy for the marching band, construction of a new practice field, and other smaller upgrades. The project is expected to cost around, like I said, $1.6 million. However, the funds will not be coming from the school's budget. Instead, the committee has started a fundraising campaign to help make this project a reality. And we have more information on our website. Just visit WOWKTV.com. Reporting in Huntington, Lane Ball, 13 News.